Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to what is going to be the worst race recap so far. Um, it will be the worst one of the season, I hope to, but so far, this is going to be the worst race recap because, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, the streak has come to an end. Um, it came to an end this weekend in Pueblo. So, let's hop straight into our heat race and break that down. Okay, so to start our heat race, we were starting on the outside of the first lane. So outside pole, I guess, second place. Um, we get a very good jump, and we just get out front of that 16 car. The same 16 car that we have been battling week in and week out at our home track, El Paso County Raceway. Um, as I was stated earlier, this is a new track to me. It was Pueblo on our speedway. Um, haven't raced there before. I haven't attended anything there before. So this is my first time even seeing the track. And this heat race was my first time on the track. Uh, I meant to go out for hot laps, but kind of missed it uh, accidentally. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So I made the best of what I was given and immediately took first place. And, you know, it was just going after it. Seeing how the track reacted, or seeing how the car reacted to the track. Uh, where I could run, where I couldn't run, because we were running a different setup to what we normally run, as this track is bigger than our track at home, and I just wasn't sure what the car was going to be like and what the track was going to be like. Uh, but I was able to just take first during our heat race and just run my race, try some lines, figure some stuff out. All the stuff I like to use the heat race for was very useful on this track. Uh, because I hadn't been there before and I had no clue how to run it what to do anything like that so I just took What I've been doing at home and kind of just brought it to this track as well uh, Seemed to be working, but I was driving a bit differently using a lot more steering and everything because of how much bigger this track is Than our home track I'm not saying that it's too terribly too much bigger ter too terribly bigger but it is larger so as you can see i was just using it uh doing a lot more work on the steering wheel than i normally have been uh bigger track like i said bigger corners wider corners sweeping corners everything like that so it was a little bit more steering input more than i wanted to use um so i'm gonna try to figure that out for the next time we go down there but um you know i just kind of kept it out front kept it in one piece kept it kind of smooth um I mean, you can see I'm kind of all over the place just because I have no clue how to run the track. Um, so I'm just trying everything I can to go faster, pretty much. But um, as you see, we kind of figure it out, kind of figure out where we want to be on the track, at least during the heat race. Um, the track did change a lot between our heat and our feature. But um, as you can see, I just kind of whipped it through there. Uh, almost lost it right there. Um, you know, very just different from what I'm used to running it the whole track just kind of felt different but we did take the win in our heat race so that's good so as I said we did take the win in our heat race so there was a good thing to come out of this day uh, we did get our first heat win of the year which is exciting um, but you know when it comes down to it the heat race doesn't really matter um, it does to a certain extent for some different reasons but in comparison to the feature race and the points and everything that you get in the feature race, the heat race doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't, you know? Um, so we did take our first heat victory, like I said, which is nice. It's nice to have one under my belt. Um, but I was really looking forward to the feature because I had kind of figured out how to run this track. And it seemed like I had a good chance at taking the win add a brand new track to me um but yeah let's hop straight into our feature race all right so getting straight into it we are starting the inside of our second row uh you know obviously uh by now i think everybody knows that that's not my favorite spot to start i don't really ever like starting on the inside but it is what it is uh, i will always make it work um, as you can see we got a decent start there we're kind of just chasing down the front too and we got that yellow card to our outside so we didn't get too crazy of a run or anything, not too, any crazy of a start, uh, but we do get 
we do make up some pretty good time on the car in front of us, that 19 car through four here. Uh, we get a really good exit compared to him, but he's a little bit faster, but then I just kind of sent it on his inside. Uh, we almost turn him, to be honest with you. We almost come close to wrecking him, but not really. Um, I kind of just slot my nose in there because I knew there was the, the space for the move, and it wasn't forcing anything too early. Um, did feel a little bad when he started getting sideways, but I mean, that's just racing. Uh, but then we were, you know, chasing down the 16 car like we have been all season. Uh, when we are in the beginning of our heat races, or our feature races, my bad. Um, you know, we were gaining a little bit going into the corners, but then they were gaining coming out of the corners. Because uh, they were running that higher lines, so you can go a little bit faster around the whole track. Um, we've seen that before from my racing, where I'm going around the top and going around her on the outside. Uh, because I was able to keep that momentum up. But here, uh, we get our right alongside her going through the corner. And we inch our nose maybe a little bit ahead of her. But then they get a really good run coming out of four. Gain a bunch of time on us again. Uh, but same thing, back down in two, or one and two going low. Uh, looks like we pass him going through one and two. Uh, I don't think the move stuck. You can see him inching their nose in on our right window but we were able to actually clear them and make the move to take first place. Um, like I said, crazy that I did that. This had a new track that I've never been to before and everything like that. But I was happy, you know, took first. Uh, I got around this lap car here with no issues this time. Uh, same car from last race where he kind of just bumped into us, but we were able to get around him, no issues. And then the caution came out. And it was a little more than a caution. It took a while. So the caution that ended up coming out was just a little bit more than just a normal caution. Um, one of the other drivers got into the fence a little bit. Uh, so they had to do some fence repair before we could start racing again. Uh, safety is everybody's you know, first priority. Um, when it comes to this racing and everything, we all want to be safe. We all don't want to, you know hurt each other hurt ourselves anything like that you know so they were doing some fence repair and we sat on the track under a red flag for about 20 ish minutes um it was kind of rough i wasn't sure if we were going to go racing again because of how long it was taking um but we did eventually get to go racing again uh, my camera did die during the red flag so i don't have in car of these laps but uh i think i'm just gonna let the laps speak for themselves um it's all out of car footage and um yeah i'll come back to talk right after that So our streak has come to an end, and I think you could tell why, <laughs> uh, judging from that video. So, yeah, I was just setting it into the corner, trying to find a rhythm again after sitting there, and um, it just didn't work. I just overdrove the corner. Um, car over-rotated more than I was expecting it to. Uh, tried to correct it. Um, and I think the car, you know, got a little air under the front nose, um, cause there's a little dip in turn two and it kind of just threw the car sideways. Um, not much I could do, just ended up sliding and smacking that wall and, uh, bending the rear 
our rear axle. Um, but yeah, it actually bent like the axle back at like the hub area. Um, so yeah, we were, we were done for the night at that point. Um, ended up our final actual position finish in that race was fifth place, you know, nothing to write home about. Um, but it does seem that we are a little bit of a checkers or wreckers kind of person so far into the season where either I win the race or I wreck out. Um, which I mean is good when you're winning races, but it sucks when you're not. But yeah, that is how our first race down in Pueblo went. Um, not to our standards at this point at all. You know, we were really hoping for a much better night and I feel like it would have been a much better night and very possible had I not made the mistake that I did driving through that corner. And if we just kept the car in one piece and kept it smooth. Um, so it was, you know, completely my fault. But I mean, that's all just a part of racing, you know. Uh, you win some, you lose some, you wreck some. Uh, and it's just not what you want to do. But um, we are going to get our revenge this Saturday at Pueblo. We are also running up at Holyoke in Colorado um, on Friday. So we are going to get our revenge on Pueblo. I'm sure of it. And yeah, the car is actually fine now. It's been a few days. Um, we raced on Saturday. It is currently Wednesday night. So, you know, the car, it took a little bit of time, but the car is completely back together. Rolling straight, driving normal. I was testing it earlier. So everything is completely fine with the car at this point. Uh, I am down a wheel. So I'm going to go try to find one of those in the morning at the U pull and pay, you know, as we do. Um, but yeah, so that is our, what is it? Sixth race recap, fifth race recap, fifth race recap of the year um, on our first race at Pueblo. Um, like I said, not how we wanted it to go, you know, but it is all right. The streak will be restarted this weekend. And, you know, it's all a part of racing. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really helps me. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.